Hello everyone, this is Jopke and I'm here with a collaboration I did with Honey and Sunny. I really <laughs> love how that sounds. Uh, that is Honey Tromp and Sunny Kruse and we decided on a Christmas collaboration. So uh, what have we decided on? Uh, well, we decided on using this PDF download. It's a PDF download from my uh, digital scrapbook kit, Merry Merry Christmas Baby. And um, I made a PDF and um, we decided on using that. Now I've printed it all out on my inkjet printer and to make sure that the ink uh, won't run and discolor, I uh, used a varnish to cover uh, the papers. Also, I printed the embellishments uh, on, on two different kinds of paper because I wanted uh, to uh, see what I like the best. So here I am um, cutting uh, one of the background papers into a square size. Uh, I believe it's six by six inch, I think. Um, and I decided to make some cards. Now we didn't decide uh, on what to make. So and uh, so this is a kind of a surprise for the girls, for Honey and Sunny because I made uh, a card for each of them and already sent it. So uh, that's what I'm doing. And I uh, am adding some bits of ephemera as well using the art medium. Uh, uh, I'm going to glue this all. I'm first going to make a kind of a cluster and then I'm going to glue it down on a piece of, of card, blank, a blank card uh, that I have. So first adding some ephemera and this is some old newspaper, <coughs> sorry, and a piece of a doily. And I believe I got that from Honey as well in Happy Mail at uh, one time. So I'm using that, um, gluing it all down with the art medium. And in the kit, in the PDF download, there was this cute little Santa, which I uh, wanted to use. So. But before I'm gluing that down, this is uh, a stencil by Tim Holtz of Stars. And I'm using the Amsterdam uh, texture paste to create some texture. And then I decided on doing some spraying with the Distress Sprays from Ranger. And um, this was kind of a shock because I didn't intend it to be that dark. But um, I decided to go on and see uh, what would happen. And um, in the end, I decided on just using uh, this, uh, adding some threads, some white threads to cover up uh, the, the dark, a bit of the dark of the doily and using some embellishments uh, that I uh, all cut out to create my card and with cutting out all the embellishments, I used the Faber uh, Castell artist pit pens to color the edges. And here I'm placing the threads and gluing everything down with a gel medium. Um, and I'm putting the pot on top of it to make sure it will hold and adding also the gel medium on the cute little Santa. That is actually an ornament that I bought a very long time ago and I made a photograph of it and um, I uh, cut it out. I made a, a PNG uh, file of it. So I have that cute little Santa in real for my Christmas tree as well. So here I am grunging up the edges with the scissors to uh, give it a grungy uh, and kind of worn look. 
and I'm, you have tools for that, but I'm using the scissors and then um, adding some archival ink, the coffee and the foam tool to go around the edges. So the, the white of the edges is gone. And this will go on uh, a card here. I am measuring everything, see if it will fit. And this is a score tape, very thin uh, double-sided tape that I use to stick down this card onto the card base. The piece in the middle as well to make sure it's all covered very well. And then removing the back and stick it down to the card base. So this card base I used before I tried to uh, this is actually my second attempt for this card and I mocked it up it uh, it didn't work the first time so uh, I decided to uh, make this a, a, a single card how do you call it it's not a double folded card but a single card here this is my um, needle tip bottle with white acrylic paint and I'm just scribbling a bit and I decided on doing some splatters as well. So adding some acrylic paint to my board and uh, spraying with water to thin it out and then using a brush to make some splatters. And um, of course there needs to go a sentiment on it. It's a Christmas greeting. I'm, I cannot tell you what it says because I'm while I'm adding it I have a very small screen and I can read it and I forgot what it said because I made these cards uh, well I guess it's more than a week ago that I made these maybe two weeks even and uh, finally I'm adding some um, teal aqua kind of colored uh, uh, flowers, three tiny flowers, and I'm using the gel medium for that as well. And that's it for this card. And the second card is to be a double folded card. And uh, a little while ago, I bought at Action these uh, blank um, card base bases i have them in white and in and the crafts and all kinds of colors so um this is my second card and in the pdf download there is this cute um, christmas tree and i decided that i want more of these so i'm using the other background papers to cut out a few more of those uh, of that uh, christmas tree so I'm laying it on the back side and draw around it with a, with a pencil and then cutting it out. So um, I will end up with three of these Christmas trees and I'm using, as I said, a double folded card. And here I am thinking and trying and see what I will do for the background. I decided on this piece of old um, magazine paper, I think it is, and I'm using a very cheap glue I got from Action, uh, something with Crea. Uh, it's a white glue and um, uh, it it's, does the trick, so I decided on using that. And here I'm laying out my Christmas trees and see what I can do more. I decided on some stamping first, and these are, uh, I believe, the the script stamp. I'm not sure. Is this Joy Craft or something like that? I'm not sure which brand it is. The other stamp is from Heidi Swap, and um, I'm using the Stazon Black Yet Black ink for some stamping. So once I have done that, I'm going to dry everything, of course. So, And then this is a stencil that I got from Action. They came with five in one pack, uh, I believe for a little more than one euro, very cheap. 
and they have uh, very nice patterns and these are the little circles and I, I use the Amsterdam uh, texture paste for some texture on the card and then I use the archival ink and the foam tool again I believe this is the coffee to go around the edges of the Christmas trees and get rid of all the, the white and um, make it a bit more grungy so I went around all three of them and what am I doing next? I'm using some spray paint, uh, homemade spray paint in a kind of aqua teal color, turquoise color and I'm adding uh, some splatters and spraying with water to make it uh, uh, run around uh, on, on the card um, but th this uh, was going uh, too slow I didn't get enough color so I decided on using the distress uh, ink pad and a foam tool to uh, go around uh, the edges and a bit on top to create some color there and then I am cutting out a few little pine cones these are in the kit as well and it's a bit fiddly but uh, I manage to cut them out go around the edges again with the archival ink to get rid of the white uh, cutting uh, edges and then I'm going to um, lay it all out on my card and see how I want that using the Crea I'm not sure how it's called the, the cheap glue from Action again to glue all the Christmas trees down so uh, please go and read the description box below you will find there the links to the videos of Honey and Sunny, <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, they have uh, made a project with this uh, PDF download as well. So please uh, go follow the links and see what they have created. So gluing down the pine cone, I decided on just using one and trimming the edges of the cards. And I decided on using the coffee as well to go around the edges of the card. And then what am I doing next? Oh yes, I had some stars cut out from the background papers as well, um, inking the edges again and uh, placed them on the inside of the card. And I'm using the white glue from Action again for that. And choosing a sentiment in, in black this time because I thought that would be nice for this card. Um, uh, again, I'm not sure what it says, but it has to do with Christmas. And I'm sticking it down on top of the card. And also I'm adding some blingy bits uh, to uh, create some uh, nice accents. And although these are self-adhesive, they don't stick very well. So I'm using a little bit of glue uh, to put these down on the, on the card. So I think I am about ready. So make sure you follow the links to Honey's and Sunny's uh, YouTube channel and see what they have created with this kit, Merry Merry Christmas Baby. I'm adding a, a light yellow flower and a bit of splatters as well to the card. So these are my cards for the girls and I roughly scribble the words Merry Christmas with my name and um, that's it. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Uh, and watching the collaboration between the three of us 
um, I wish you all, if I don't see you uh, before that, a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and all the best and hope to see you very, very soon. Bye bye.